Hi, in this video, I'll talk about uh, uh, the SAS PROC, PROC CALIS. Uh, PROC CALIS uh, is used for uh, the structural equation modeling, or we call it uh, in short SEM. Well, this is fairly uh, advanced uh, to learn structural equation modeling uh, or, or even to learn PROC CALIS. Uh, we need to, you know, uh, study a lot. Um, there is a huge literature that is available in the SAS website we can uh, go through it also uh, we need to understand the theory of structural equation modeling to be able to use prop calis but uh, in this video i'll just give you a very brief overview as uh, the serious uh, viewers can uh, go through in detail in the SAS website um <coughs> prop calis can be used uh, for exploratory and confirmatory factor analysis it can be used for uh, path analysis and causal modeling. Uh, it can also be used for uh, multiple regression, linear regression, uh, that kind of stuff. Well, uh, why? What is the basic difference between uh, you know the structural equation modeling and the normal regression modeling? Well, the very basic difference is that in the normal regression uh, modeling, where uh, we use PROC reg. Uh, to perform that we consider the uh, independent variables to be non-stochastic or non-random in nature or in more simpler terms uh, we, we consider them as, them to be static in nature okay there is uh, there is no stochasticity or randomness uh, in the independent variables uh, only the dependent variable is uh, considered to be uh, stochastic in nature but in structural equation modeling, we consider all the variables to be in uh, stochastic in nature. So that's the uh, main difference. Uh, just to give you an, uh, an overview, uh, I, I'll just perform a linear regression, uh, a simple linear regression using PROC CALIS. So I'll be using the uh, CAST data from the SAS HELP. I have brought it to my work library. So the syntax is like this, PROC CALIS data and then uh, I'm using CARS, so that's the input data. Uh, well, I'm using a path analysis, path modeling to perform a regression, okay? So um, I'm performing the same regression using uh, the path analysis method, okay? So, uh, remember the assumptions are different here. Uh, both the variables are uh, stochastic in nature and the uh, assumption of normality is very strict in structural equation modeling. Um, so, you know, it, it, we should ensure that these two variables are normally distributed. So that's, you know, one other uh, difference between the normal regressions and the structural equation uh, reg uh, regression models. So um, then we uh, mention path. Uh, MPG underscore CT is my dependent variable. It depends on length. So this arrow mark says that uh, the uh, you know the left hand side variable depends on the right hand side of the variable we can uh, of course mention as many variable uh, independent variables as possible when we run this we'll get uh, an output like this uh, one of the most important thing about the output is that we won't be having r square kind of uh, statistic here so the goodness of it statistic that is available in this proc is the gfi or the goodness of it index okay in this case, it's one, most, but uh, in most of the cases, it won't be one. It will be less than one. But you know, a good model will have a value very close to one. And uh, finally, you will have the uh, uh, the parameter estimates. Okay, what are the parameter estimates? Okay, so uh, here is my parameter estimates. I have got the estimate standard error and the corresponding t values okay so uh, just uh, do a proc rake and compare what is the difference and I'm sure you will see some difference uh, in terms of the results so you can compare the results from proc rake and proc calis but it's not limited to only the linear regression I just gave you a very simple example we can use proc calis for exploratory factor analysis confirmatory factor analysis uh, and uh, even more complex uh, path analysis and causal modeling, uh, you know, purposes. Thank you.